What can you tell us about the axe shredder? Uh, it's a uh, Slamer hammer. It's like a cheap version of the Hamer guitars. Um, you can have stickers. You have a tonic air modification ultimatum. You used to have a paramecium sticker, but it uh, came off. Here we have Alfred the Cat. Alfred, look this way. He wants his food. And this is my axe. My, well, it's actually my backup axe. That I've been using a lot lately. So you need to give my explorer a service. It's a Jackson Randy Rhodes. It's a pretty cheap one. I think I paid about 500 for it last year. But I wanted a guitar I could take on the road and not worry about getting stolen and beaten up and all that kind of thing. Sound mass. And Alice Cooper. And uh, the strings I use, which are Dean, Dean Markley's. You can see him climbing all over the equipment. The crate, which is not working properly at the moment, needs to be serviced. So I'm using another crate. This is my legit collection. I've been collecting Christian metal CDs for many years now, since 1994. I'm very pleased to have one of our own albums in the collection. That's always been a bit of a dream of mine. Yeah, this, this collection is uh, nearly as big as my name. <laughs> <laughs> this is what inspires Grave Forsaken. Now many of these have been purchased from Soundmass, www.soundmass.com As you can see I'm a big Tourniquet fan, I've been unashamed in my, in my fandom of Tourniquet So, Psychosurgery, um, probably my favourite Christian metal album of all time Toss up between that and self-titled by Mortification Just love this album, I uh, got it back when I was in high school, back in the 90s Every song I reckon is a classic on this album it, Shredder is making his decision. He's found it. Uh, this, this would have been my first Christian album. 4-3, um, Warriors of Light. It's a pretty cool sort of light metal hard rock album. Um, yeah, I, I got I got this some tape. My brother-in-law gave it to me. Um, it would be about 17, 18 years ago now. The very first time I ever heard Shredder play the guitar, he played Vitals Fading from this album. And I knew as soon as I heard the Shredder <laughs> play Vitals Fading, I knew that he had to be in the band. I was in Katara at the time, and I just thought somehow, some, some way I've got to get Shredder into the band. Any dude who can play Vitals Fading belongs in a band with me. I'm such a big Priest fan that I named my cat after Rob Halford. Mortification self-titled. You can see I've got Steve to sign it for me. This was one of the first Christian albums I ever got back in the 90s. Um, I was in high school again. Fantastic album. Hugely influential on the Great Forsaken sound. Some classic songs on there. Brutal Warfare, Satan for Doom, No Return, Break the Curse. I love New Awakening. Not, not so well known, but a great tune. Destroy Beholds, Journey of Reconciliation, Majestic Infiltration of Water. It's just a classic, absolutely fantastic album, hugely influential. I like them all, but this is the album that my cousin gave me at the time. And uh, yeah, since I forgot, I've been pretty much hooked on Christian metal. Weapons of our Warfare. Again, hugely influential on Grave Forsaken. Again, one of the very early albums I got. If you had a look at my CD collection when I was in high school, when this was only about 10 CDs, you would have seen this and those other two I've shown you. Absolutely love this album. Again, all classics. Present Darkness, Weapons of the Warfare, Solitude, Flesh and Blood, Bought by Blood, 23, Slay the Wicked, Greetings of Death, If We Paint Not. There is not a dud on this album. First Momentary Affliction. Mortification, that's the great forsaken, but that's us. Um, this is actually the first word I ever heard, um, not this actual album, but um, it was the first time that I really actually realised how heavy Christian music could be, and that was awesome. Um, this is 
a phenomenal album. If you don't have it, you have to get it, get the re-release, if nothing else. Um, really an album with just some amazing stuff. Bass solos, of course, I'm going to love it. Um, wicked stuff. Going to be a bit controversial here. Not many people would agree with me, but this is one of my all-time favourite albums. Destruction Comes. Absolutely love it. Um, most people would go for this baby as their favourite Vengeance album. I agree, fantastic album. Some reason, Destruction Comes just does it for me. Um, I don't know if it's the intensity, I don't know what it is, but all I know is as soon as I saw Roger with that guitar, I knew I had to have one. So I've got an Explorer pretty much exactly the same as that baby. But this was a huge album for me. Huge album. Okay, um, second. Uh -oh. Right, Snakes in the Playground. When my friend Chris first got into Christian metal, he was the first guitarist in Katara. This was one of the first albums he ever bought and played to me at church. And I still love it to this day. Again, filled with classics. All time fantastic Christian album. It's got enough cheese on it to keep me happy. Saving Machine, number one. Um, their first album, self titled album, is just awesome. Um, I love the of it. Mm -hmm. More of a gothic uh, kind of feel to it. But the guitars are just. Sorry, I'm trying not to keep waving away. The guitars are just so intricate, so well done, so well laid out, and it's just such a complex, awesome album. Thanks for tuning in to Great for Sunken TV episode 2. We hope you enjoyed checking out our, some of my CD collection and um, if you've got any requests for albums that you want us to talk about on future episodes, email the band and um, we'll see if we've got it here and we can discuss that as well. Let's go.